Hi everyone, Philippe here from TGT and welcome to another video. We are already on iOS 15.1 beta 1 but Apple hasn't forgot about the iOS 12 users yet. So yesterday they released iOS 12.5.5 for the older devices. So if you have an iPhone 5s, iPhone 6 or 6 plus, first gen iPad Air, iPad mini 2 or iPad mini 3 and iPod touch 6th generation, you should see this update now. To find the update, go to settings, then go to general, then software update and you should see your update available here. Well, uh, this was a pretty small update and my space gray iPhone 6 took around 10 minutes to download and install the update. But depending on the device you have and the version number you are on, that should vary. I was on iOS 12.5.4 previously. Now let's go ahead and check the new build number. You can see that the new build number is 16H62. Before the update, the available free storage on this device was 7.31 GB out of 16 GB as you can see and after the update, the available free storage is now 7.34 GB. So there is a little bit storage space gain. But there is no modem firmware update as you can see here, it has remained same. Apple says this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. Now let's go ahead and check what Apple actually fixed in this update. As you can see, there are fixes for core graphics, WebKit and more. An integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation. Then a use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management. That is for the WebKit. And finally, a type confusion issue was addressed with improved state handling. Apple also acknowledged that some of the issues were reported first by Google Threat Analysis Group. Apart from that, there are nothing much to talk about. Apple doesn't add any kind of new features to such older devices. Initially, after the update, the device performance is as usual, I should say. Apps are also running as it should be. But if you face any issue after the update, do report it in the comment section below and I will make a follow up video later with your queries. And the battery life seems to be same as well. Now here is the Geekbench 5 score. As you can see we have 309 for single core and 583 for multi core scores which is typical for this device. Now we all know that this was a big week for Apple, there were iPhone 13 release iOS 15 public release and then iOS 15.1 beta 1 release. But in spite of a busy schedule, it is really amazing that Apple is still pushing important security updates to such old devices. In fact, Apple may also keep pushing security updates for iOS 14 as well in future. So that's it for today. Hope you have liked the video. Do share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.